What's up, everybody? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's motherfucking moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lies for the weekend. So, if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit... You are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my water gods, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see what's going down for the weekend. You already know I start out with that Pisces baby. Then we're going to move into Cancerian and the Scorpio. We're going to be taking a look at just the love energies, overall exchanges and messages that spirit has. And then we'll be taking a look at my singles as well after each of the sign readings. So thank you to everybody who time stamps these bitches. I love y'all because I'm not going to do that shit. <laughs> as soon as I'm reading, I'm done. Okay. So I read the comments, all of that shit. But the time stamps, thank you so much to everybody who does do that. And I'd be tired of motherfuckers who'd be like, time stamp, please, motherfucker, go, go do that shit yourself. Okay. But I'm going to quit my rant for today. But let's see what's going down for the motherfucking weekend. Y'all already know what he do. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Pisces, I'm going to start out with you. We're going to get just the overall vibe of what's crowning you. And then love exchanges energies. And for my singles. So let's see what's going on. Make sure your ass light up, talk up, smoke up while you listen to these motherfucking reads. Get that higher learning, baby. So, <laughs> Pisces, let's see what's going down. Overall energies. I'm going to get my handy dandy notebook. <laughs> I'm going to get this after tarot for what's crowning all of my Pisces for the weekend. Here we go. Six of Cups energy here. And we also have magical space clearing time. So I'm getting already that some of you guys might be cleaning up. You might be doing some things in the magical realm. She got they they got their brooms. Okay, these two bitches got their brooms. This was in upright, the six of cups. So I do feel I don't know why I spent that one around, but six of cup energy here it could be some children, some memories, things that you're cleaning up. But I feel like all together this is happiness with the six of six of cups. All right. Um, now, there could be somebody that's in your energy that you're looking forward to with, uh, you know, having a better spirit or just overall in the spiritual realm. You definitely have people that are looking after you with the Six of Cups. But I feel there's a lot of people that are coming to help or there could be just an enchanted energy that's coming towards you with the Six of Cups. OK, so let's get the overall love energies. But I do feel you're going to be um, having a lot of recessions. This could be dreams as well, too, Pisces. Um, but I'm also getting with the Six of Cups. This could be dealing with uh, your children or taking care of what's young at heart. All right. So give me the overall love exchanges with Pisces. We got shit flying. Page of Pentacles. You could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I'm seeing that somebody has an offer for you. This could be um, somebody that's coming with a small package but a big offer. Now, listen, if this is sex, I don't know, baby, but you got the lover's energy here. So I'm getting that some of you guys are definitely thinking about a unified relationship or something that's coming together with a choice in your partnership. But a lot of spiritual energy is what I'm seeing for the weekend is you and your partner. Now, there could be some offers that's coming towards you or someone has an offer that they want to give to you with this page of pentacles in love. OK, so I do feel like for some of you Pisces that are in relationships there's some sort of um, closure here or there is an accomplishment or an achievement that's coming with that world energy or a cycle that's coming to a close with that witch's energy. Something you'll be cleaning up. But I definitely feel like these are really good offers that are coming up between you two. You have the full energy here. So there could be something that might just come all of a sudden or all about with you and your partner. Okay, this might be a new beginning or starting over since the world energy is here. Now, you know what starting over means. It doesn't necessarily mean you're changing into a different relationship, but I do feel like some of you guys are 
changing the way, changing the characteristics of what comes between you and your partner. But definitely a lot of offers here, Pisces. So I do feel like in love, there might be some disagreements or you might feel like somebody is uh, not being, uh, their perception is totally different than yours, but I'm definitely picking up a new beginning here. So let's see what's going down with my singles for the weekend, for my Pisces. I do feel like there's a lot of love, a lot of closure, but there could be a lot of connection spiritually together with you and your partner, okay? So, two cards for my single Pisces. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse, wow, and also the Two of Pentacles. So for some of you singles, you might be having some family issues or conflicts within your family, but I definitely feel like emotional-wise, you're not really wanting to put forth too much information. There could be a decision that could be made here as well. You also might be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that you're making a decision to, but I do see a lot of family. So some of you guys, you know, could have been juggling multiple things, but I feel like with this family energy here, some of you guys are definitely, um, the single ones, you're definitely not really happy with what you have. So I feel like you're having to make a decision over the weekend. Now, clarifying that is the Hermit energy and the Four of Pentacles. So a torn energy could be very important for some of you guys. Also Virgo as well. But I'm picking up uh, with that Hermit, you're finding a lot of solutions for yourself. So let's get an Oracle message. And I'm going to also get a Romance Angel. Oh, shit. I can shit nine. So give me two romance angels for my Pisces all together. And an oracle message. Here we go. We have you deserve love. You are lovable, Pisces. So get the messages out there. There might also be heart to heart conversation that you're going to be discussing with you and your partner. This could be about that closure as well. But just, you know, being free and saying what the fuck you want. I also have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may use you from a different type and expectation. So try not to expect too much. You got that full energy there for some of you Pisces. So you already know. Just let it happen, baby. <laughs> Give me one more card for my Pisces for the weekend. Okay, I didn't want that one because I keep, let me shuffle this motherfucker. I feel some of you guys definitely have a decision to make, okay? But definitely a lot of love surrounding you for the weekend. So we have Yen, okay? So somebody's fine. Oh, and we got Yang up in this bitch. This is a lot of spiritual energy. And with that hermit energy, I do feel like there is some sort of peace that you're getting ready to find. Now, there is somebody who is making some questions about karma is what I do see over the weekend or whatever. It was fated or in uh, in a process of being, you know, something that could change or be fated to you or someone else. Somebody's definitely thinking about that. But you have yin and yang and peace. So a lot of you guys are going to be at peace. Some of you guys might be dealing with your yin and your yang, baby. Right? could be a fire sign here. Also a water sign because I do see fire and water. Okay. But there's going to be some peace. Pisces. I love it. So you might be taking time to get some reflection. Let's see what's going down with my motherfucking Cancerians. I'm going to get the Oracle message. And then we're going to also get the... Um, overall energies of what's crowning you so here we go to my cancetians for the motherfucking weekend up in this bitch we have a time for spirit okay now i'm going to get my gilded tarot deck for my cancetians some of you guys definitely need to get some sort of peace or you're finding reflection all right, so here you are with the King of Cup energy. Some of you guys might be taking on masculine energy. Some of you guys might be taking on feminine, whatever the case may be. But this is going to be all about you and reflection, your happiness. Now, the King of Cups can also be somebody who's romantic or bringing in a romantic offer. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, like I said. But all together, this is you, Cancer. Okay, this is you, Cancerian, that's needing that ultimate peace. Some of you guys need to just, you know... Be funny, deal with uh, happiness, laughter, things of that nature. Because the King of Cups, to me, he's always wanting to laugh, okay? Or he's extremely serious. So this is either you finding peace, getting a lot of tranquility as well, being able to meditate, okay? But also being able to be a human being all at the same time with that King of Cup energy, okay? So 
Let's see what's popping for my Cancerians in love for the weekend. In love, my Cancerians. Okay, we got a card popping out. We got the world energy in reverse. The eight of pentacles. And also the six of pentacles. So I'm getting that some of you guys are finding some sort of balance or some closure here. Because there is a lot of um, flow coming to you. Some of you guys might be giving out money. Some of you guys might be giving back or getting back. It could go vice versa. You also might be dealing with a Libra energy here with these two scales or just finding some fairness altogether. But I do feel like in love, there's some sort of completed cycle that you feel is here. But I also am getting that some of you guys are kind of in your head and have a lot of things that might be up in the air versus you and your partner, you know, making this fusion come together with the world energy. So I do feel like for a lot of you Cancerians that are in love, there's going to be this equal back and forth. But I do see that a lot of you guys could be studying, sitting at your desk, doing a lot of um, repetitious work is what I'm getting here. But I also feel like there is a financial opportunity that's coming towards you between you and your partner. So definitely take that on. Five of Swords in reverse. Also, Ten of Cups and Queen of Cups. So I'm seeing a lot of you guys in your happy energy, okay? You got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups both here. So I do feel like you have two emotional motherfuckers who are trying to make this shit work. <laughs> two emotional people, okay? So yeah, with this King of Cups, Queen of Cups, there's something together you guys might be sharing emotionally or just, it might be just a time for peace and reflection um, for you and your partner, but understanding what you might be uh, putting to the side or some emotions or some feelings that you might be hiding, but I'm definitely picking up, you know, this is an opportunity to be love, okay? So let's see what's going down for my singles. Cancetti, and I do see another Cancer Pisces Scorpio that's in your energy. Somebody is definitely loving here for the weekend. There could be some family activities that you might be doing as well too. I'm also seeing that there could be other people that might be involved, like, uh, baby mama, baby daddy, outside people that might be involved, but I do feel like some of you guys, this is all about happiness. Okay. I love it. Kind of sad, I'm going to take it. So for some of my singles, you got the Empress in, in this bitch. Uh Oh, talk to me. So you got the Empress. This is beautiful. Abundant. Nurturing. Sexy. This is also being able to be fertile as well. But some of you guys might be taking care of your inner beauty. You might be taking care of your outer beauty, whatever the case may be. But a lot of you singles got some love. The Empress is Venus, baby. So there's some love opportunities that might be coming your way for a lot of you singles. It could be with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. I do also see the Page of Wands peeking out and the Queen of Swords. Some of you guys might be very bitchy though with this Queen of Swords, okay? Shit be too real to come about your mouth and people don't know how to take it. But I do see that there are some opportunities of love with that Empress energy, okay? So, let's see what the Romance Angels have to say. For my Cancerians. My Cancerian babies, give me the love for Cancerian. You got separation here. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Interesting. So there could have been some time apart where you're beautifying yourself or some of you guys just have a lot of things up in the air. But it's time for peace, okay? So give me one more for my Cancerians. Passion. Uh-oh, so this is my humping card, Cancetti. Either some of y'all are separating. Absence make the heart go frown. Y'all know how that saying go. You could be separating away from your partner, but I'm also seeing a lot of passion between you two. Okay, so it could go either way. Finding peace for yourself and making a decision and getting down on the boogie with the lights off. Okay. Yes, for the gods. <laughs> so give me one oracle message for my Cancetti and for the weekend. Here we go. We have a uh, fork in the road. Okay, that card wants to keep coming out in damn near every ring. So you have a leg up. So there might be a decision, a split decision that you have, but I do feel like spirit is gonna give you this, um, these nuts, okay, to get your ass up and see how much of a living legend you about to be with this damn Empress energy here and also with the 10 of cups. All right, we also have the fates, so no place like home. Like I said, I did see you guys spending a lot of time at home or just something happening within your family network, but I'm definitely picking up. Um, a lot of you Cancerians are 
finding peace, okay? Could be that you're imagining a lot or envisioning a lot using your imagination. Or there could be something that's happening in your dreams that's giving you a lot of clarity and time for that separation between, you know, certain people that could put influences on you. You already know what it is, okay? So, Kensetians, take some time for yourself. You guys are going to be absolutely beautiful. Okay. Scorpios, let's see what's going down. I'm going to get the overall energies for you with the Golden Girls Tarot. So... Let's see what's popping up in this bitch for my scorpions, my stingas. All right, here we go. <laughs> then I'm going to pick one oracle card. Here we go. We have a clear solution. Oh, I like that. And we also have five of wands in reverse. So some of you guys might be letting go of a lot of competition or you feel like there's not too much that can, um, you know, handle you, Scorpio. But I do feel uh, with this Five of Wands in reverse, this is definitely things becoming a little bit more clear. Because it's not people who are in the way making you make certain decisions and shit that have you feeling some type of way. So I do feel like it's a very clear solution that's coming up. Let's check out what's going on in love. Here we go. For my Scorpios in love. Oh, we got the Nine of Cups. So there's some sort of pleasure like that's happening. Somebody's getting that drink on, baby. Could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well. But I do feel like there's some sort of pleasure that's coming here, Scorpios, towards you. I also have the Three of Pentacles. You might not be willing to work with people, especially with that Five of Wands and that Three of Pentacles. I feel like some of you guys are turning some offers down with this Four of Cups. There could be a third-party situation for some of you guys. Um, but I definitely feel like it's an un it's some unfinished business now some of you guys could just be working all together or um, getting those offers on the table between you and your partner there's something being offered here this either could be some solutions or this is a chance um, that you didn't expect it might be a phone call some sort of message as well from a Gemini Libra Aquarius I'm also getting with the eight of swords and the ten of wands some of you guys are kind of like all about your work Okay, try not to stay in your emotional side. But I do feel with the two of pentacles, some of you guys might be juggling two different energies with this judgment here. I do feel like there's something you're going to have to be called either out on your shit or somebody is trying to make some new moves up in this bitch because you got the ace of cups between you and your partner. So I do feel judgment energy. Some of you guys are bringing this together. This is a solution with the judgment energy all together. And with the ace of cups, there's a love offer up in the making, baby. Let's see about my single scorpion. Give me two cards. We have the Empress once again. Wow. And the Seven of Pentacles. So there's something you're getting ready to invest in yourself, baby. This could be, uh, you know, plenty of things. This could be financial investments. This also could be Virgo Taurus Capricorn that you're dealing with. But I do see that some of you guys are just kind of all about what you want to nurture in your environment and in your energy. And if ain't nobody talking about shit, then you like, peace out, motherfucker. This is all about me for some of you singles. So there definitely could be something that you're taking some thoughts to. But I also feel like you're going to be picking and choosing what you want to as well for a lot of you single Scorpios. Talk to me, baby. So let's see what's popping. Give me two cards for my Scorpios in love. For the weekend, we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you and your partner are definitely taking some time to get away. Or it might be time to get away. It's saying to trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith, Scorpio. So for some of you guys, it's definitely saying, listen, uh, if you want to love a motherfucker, you're going to have to love them. You know what I'm saying? But if not, you giving them your heart. That Bob Marley quote. You already know how that shit go. But it's saying to retreat and trust. And also, some of you guys could be calling in your soulmate. This could be for a lot of you singles as well, too, with that empress. Like a Turex like baby. So if you're looking good, you're going to find somebody who look good, too. Okay? Now, if the Dusties is trying it, honey, you already know. You need to step your game of where you at. Talk to me. It says, not for you. So, yeah, <laughs> I also see co-create as well. So somebody might be trying to make a situation really work for themselves. Definitely time to make a situation um, for the betterment of each other. You might be two different people trying to make shit work and it ain't working. So you might have to find a different solution or you'll be finding out if it's not for you. So just trust the process. I love you guys all so much. Make sure you check out my four, reading, my four question readings. Um, for $25 down in the description box, only on the weekend, video only.
video only. I do not do those phone calls for those four questions, okay? So, I love you guys who are very supportive to me. You guys are the motherfucking shit. Make sure you all hit that like button too while you're here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful fucking weekend.